We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. I'm today in Faith Black Lights. We take a look at this. And what this is from Volcanic Peppers, it is maybe not a friendly ghost. It is the Peach Ghost Pucker. And the idea here is, you know, let's just read the verbiage. So it is a unique sauce with a touch of sweetness, followed by the heat of the peppers and a sour pucker finish. And that is actually a really, really good description of how this goes. Um, I think they're giving it, no, they're calling it a low heat. So I, I will say this is actually, uh, the scale is actually pretty much what I would put it at as well. I think I gave it a two, maybe? You can check the written review, the link to which is available down in the description below. If you uh, care to double check me on that, please feel free if you care to. So we have a peach puree, the chili peppers, which is habanero and peach, peach ghost. We have the vinegar, water, sugar, cinnamon, malic acid, and xanthan gum, of course. Malic acid is the pucker component, and the um, we know where the sweet is and we know where the heat is. So I think this is a fascinating sauce. I find this to be very, very interesting. And you can see it is, there's, there's particulates in there you can see. It's uh, giving you the idea. A lot of the cinnamon. So I was initially leery. I was in, this didn't go on my list actually. I just kind of picked it up on a whim. I was initially very leery about this because I am not what you would call a fan of cinnamon. cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. And so sauces with cinnamon, cinnamon, I'm not super excited about. However, as a kid, I had a whole bunch of breakfast toast, which was butter and cinnamon and sugar. And this is a pretty strong callback to that time with a few twists. So let's take a look at it in the spoon. And you can see it is it almost reminds me of like a pumpkin filling, like a pumpkin pie filling. I think it looks great. It's a it's a gorgeous looking sauce. This sort of orangish brown, like you can pretty well gather what flavor notes I think you're gonna be in for just looking at this sauce. Some sauces will do that, some won't. This one does. Very pretty, I like it. It's uh, and I mean it, it's it's very smooth. It's a very smooth sauce. There are, you can see the little bits there. What's probably a seed, but overall there's really not a lot of particles in there. It's more this sort of fine stuff that you see here. So uh, let's let's just get on into it. Mm, man, this is delicious. If you like ghost peppers. If you don't like super hot, you probably won't find it as delicious, but let me tell you about it. So we start with a nice cinnamon sugar hit. It's exactly what it tastes like. Cinnamon, but with sugar forward. So very nice cinnamon sugar. And then it goes very quickly to the super hots. We get a nice bit of bitter blast and some heat from the super hots, and then it finishes 
with that bit of sourness. And it's definitely in that order. It's like really, really, this is, um, I think, a really extremely well-designed sauce. If that's what he was going for. Maybe he made the sauce and described it after the fact. I don't know. But the volcanic stuff I've come across, I've generally been pretty pleased with. This is another, uh, another in that line. The, excellent sauce. As long as you like the super hot sauce. All right. So one of the things they say is meats. And I have, and we'll be having this on more grilled stuff coming up. Cinnamon and like grilled stuff, I don't super love. So I am interested to see though. Uh, I, I believe I tried this on pork chops and I thought it was okay. Uh, I do, I am going to be trying it on grilled chicken at some point in the future as well. But I do like it on, yes, chicken tendies once again. So let's do a little pour. Oh, I'm thinking if you bake this in now, with the, I'm thinking if you bake it in with a pumpkin pie filling, it would be fantastic. We're out of season pumpkin pie right now, and um, I don't like pumpkin pie well enough to want to have it right now. Once a year at Thanksgiving is tons for me. My favorite way to have it is actually cold as a breakfast. That's, that's my favorite way of having it. But it's a flavor I get tired of fairly quickly. I've had a sweet potato pie variation as well that's similar to that. That was fine. It's not the kind of thing I think I would like to have all the time. I did actually like the sweet potato pie a little bit better though. Pumpkin pie, you know, you get the hit of uh, tradition, you get the nostalgia bump. It's a big part of the holidays usually. I like this sauce. This is a neat sauce. It's unique. The flavor, I don't know how he did that, but the flavor is brilliant. And it's not, you know, I, I probably misstated it before. It is peach with the cinnamon and sugar, but cinnamon and sugar is very, very forward in the flavor. And then you get the heat. Then you get right at the end that bit of pucker. Really like it. I really like the sauce. It's very novel. Would I want to eat it all the time? Probably not. I don't even keep cinnamon in my house, to be honest with you. Cinnamon candies are my least favorite. But I think this is a really special sauce. Another really talented sauce maker. And he uses some unusual ingredients. Chocolate habaneros, peach ghost peppers, I mean, they're not super exotic or anything, but when you see habaneros used, most of the time it's orange, sometimes red or green. I guess red and green probably are about appear about as much. Most of the time it's orange, but he made the sauce. In fact, they've done it. The uh, lava 
chocolate lightning with the chocolate habaneros. This one, most of the time, it is, you know, the ghost pepper is just the regular ghost peppers. This one is the peach, very specific ghost pepper. It just doesn't, they, those don't see the same action. They just don't see it as often. Man. That bit of, that bit of sour is a little bit jarring, but it's a, you know, it's, it's a fruit sour. I quite like it. And of course, this works very well on these. But I think it plays off really well with the breading. What else do we have on here? Let's just see. It's saying light meats. Fish. I really think you need to have it fried though. I think this would be okay on grilled meats, but I think it also isn't specifically my preferences, so. This says, it's very tasty on ice cream. And I just so happen to have some right here. Peach pie and ice cream? Don't mind if I do. I might have the uh, ratio here a little bit off, but all right, that's fine. Let's try just a peach first. Oh, 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 wow. Wow, that is really good. Mmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Poor ma'am. Wow, that is fantastic. How about the ice cream? I don't like it as much. I think the bitterness of the uh, Super Hots is not playing nicely here with the, um, the sweet creamy nature of the ice cream. The more subtle approach here with the cinnamon sugar is getting hammered because it's being overpowered completely by the sweetness of the ice cream. And it's knocking the, the sour part completely out. So what we're getting is a fairly bitter super hot and uh, con conflicting pretty pretty notably with the uh, ice cream. That's kind of what I thought would happen actually. Because this sauce it was not really sweet enough to be a dessert sauce. Ice cream. If a sauce maker says try, try an ice cream, I usually will. Most of the time, they're, uh, they're, they're full of caca and it doesn't work with ice cream. But there are some that do. And when they work with ice cream, they usually work pretty well. This one is not one of those, though, I would not say. I kind of quite dislike this one, ice cream, actually. It's just too bittery, super hot. Sometimes you'll get that with sauces, you'll get a cancellation effect. Ice cream is a very 
prominent, very forward flavor. Even this is just vanilla. I think this sauce does better with the more neutral food uh, where, where you can have the elements of the sauce play off each other better. Unfortunate. That, was, that part was not very good. So, great on pie. Good, really good on chicken strips. On our chicken tendies. Nut. Not something I'm going to repeat on ice cream. That's pretty diplomatic. Okay, so what do we think of this? Well, I like it. I mean, it's a, it's a really likable sauce. The idea of cinnamon and sugar, but more sugar, I guess more like sh sugar and cinnamon. Because this is exactly the way I like my toast. With just a really super light dusting of cinnamon to accent the sugar, and then on butter, on toast, right? So, that part is nailed, like, really effectively. Plus, you have the, the, the peach overtones. Uh, peach is a very, fairly subtle flavor, so it lends itself well to a base here. And then after that, we have the the bitter, right? We have the, the bitter of the uh, super hot of ghost pepper. And then also, even though peach ghost pepper is somewhat of a more subtle ghost pepper, it still has that bitter charge to it. Habaneros, I find to be somewhat of a of a more on the bitter side pepper as well having euros in there uh there is a, a reasonable buildup i think i don't know if i would say it's our this is arguably for me it's a two but this is arguably too hot for non jilly heads i don't think they're going to enjoy this if they, especially if they have a lot of it it's a lot of effects that's very difficult to anchor on to I like it because, you know, like stunt saucy stuff is, I like the, exper the, uh, the spirit of experimentalism, as I've said many, 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 many times. So anyway, after all that stuff, there is that sort of sour finish, although it disappears pretty considerably when you overload the sugar component. It, it just gets kind of wiped out. For the pie, it was really, that part, that part was not especially prominent. It was more that wonderful cinnamon sugar peach combination and the super hots but on the pie that was fantastic that was that was the best thing i've had here by quite a bit this thing though really needs uh, a food partner to kind of be able to display all that stuff and so it, it's not it's somewhat flexible but it's not super super flexible it's kind of maybe mid-range um, Heat-wise, like I said, for me it's a two, but I, I do think that most uh, normies would find this overly hot and would probably not enjoy it. But I think it would be just fascinating if you put something like this into a pumpkin pie mix. I think that would just be really, really good. In fact, if I have this still around by the time Thanksgiving rolls around, uh, I will certainly be trying that. Uh, bet your bottom dollar. But uh, yeah, very, very, another... Very good sauce from Volcanic Peppers. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, you should absolutely check them out. Uh, they've, they've been kind of in my sweet spot, I guess, for quite a while since I first came across them years and years ago. Uh, so definitely well worth your attention, for sure. And uh, let's leave it there. So there it is. The, I'm getting the name here right. Volcanic Peppers Peach Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.